We are currently on the ferry. We're going to take in like half an hour. I think we're one of the first people here. Hello, we went inside of the ferry. So now we are in an air conditioned setting because the outside is way too hot for an hour and a half ferry ride. Um, so yeah, just an update. It seems pretty quiet. Not many people around. For the most part, the elderly are here. So we are off the ferry with me and my mom on our way to the wonderful city of Boston, Massachusetts And once we land in Boston, well land, once we actually get to Boston, our final destination We're probably just gonna go to the hotel, check in, put our stuff down, and then probably go out to dinner And most likely go visit a few touristy, um, touristy locations such as like the Boston Public Library um, I read online that they have bi-weekly concerts during the summertime so we're gonna go check it out at 6 p.m. and see if we can actually make it in time. We have finally come to Boston. Big city, but hey, I'm not gonna compare. <laughs> to the Boston Public Library, which is very exciting. We saw a concert by, I forget his name, but if you guys can see him, I have no idea if you can. He's on the guitar standing there singing. Anyways, um, we took the subway, which was very interesting, but we ended up getting here and that's all that really matters. So we're just exploring and the architecture here is absolutely beautiful. The people here that we've talked to so far have been nothing but kind. This is like a little inside of one room called the Bates Hall. People are working and studying, so I'm just gonna check it out. We are in the Abbey Room full of different murals, which is very interesting. There are so many different pictures here. So we just left Boston's beautiful public library. It was a great time, great concert by some indie guy that I've never heard of before, which is always fun. Um, so now we're just on our way, apparently to go to Abercrombie because I did not pack any shorts other than the pair I'm wearing right now. Are you vlogging? We just finished eating dinner at Kosi, which is a restaurant that we always go to anyways, and it was really great. The people here are so friendly, that's even the waiters and the staff, like, it's just that's, that's real. such a refreshing no. city, like, I really, really enjoy it here. Good morning, Boston. Um, actually, it's good afternoon here. Um, I did not vlog all day today, I'm sorry about that, but it's been a pretty hectic morning trying to find the first college that we visited, but we found it and we toured it, got the information session and everything. It was really nice. I really like the campus. Um, not so sure about the dorms though, but I mean, hey, that's pretty standard. Trying to find a restaurant called The Yard House. And we asked three people and they automatically knew what we were talking about when I said, how do I get to this Yard House restaurant place? So I'm guessing it's good considering three random strangers told me how to get there. So we're about to get there in like a few minutes. Me and my mom. I really should see a baseball game, but I have absolutely no interest in baseball. But there's some really nice streets here. My mom is currently very happy because we have found a Marshalls. <laughs> She's trying to hide from the camera, but we found Yard House. We just left the Yard House restaurant, which was really good. We had, me and my mom, we both shared, what was it called? It was like penne, vodka, shrimp, pasta kind of thing. And then we also had typical Caesar salad. So we're also passing by a highway, so sorry if the sound is a little bit off here. We're now just walking towards Newberry Street, which I heard from a friend has really great um, shops and stores to look at. And now we are going to Barnes & Noble, as if we don't have any where we live, but I really want a new book, so we're just gonna go check it out. Just stopped by Barnes & Noble, only to find out that they sold the first university's clothing that we were just at, so, um, and the first university's tour shop, um, is that what it's called? Tour shop? Hold up. No, gift shop, that's what I'm saying. Gift shop had like a very small selection of clothes, 
So we got a sweatshirt from there. Like it's not a bad sweatshirt, but they just didn't have a big selection. And we walk into Barnes and Noble and it's literally half the store. So we are currently at the public Boston Garden in which there are many people just sitting on the ground. It is such a nice scenery. Like I just see a squirrel over there if you guys can see that. But anyways, it's really nice here. We just finished our second college tour of the day, which is our final college tour of the day. And we also managed to stop by Dunkin' Donuts, which is always great for our donuts as a good refresher. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this beautiful view we have right here with these wonderful, <laughs> wonderful ducks. Free items, so naturally, we gravitate towards every single stand that gives away something for free. 